messed with the wrong people, you ugly slime face! Mars Fire! Ignite! Did you grow up in Canada? Were you alive in the 90s? Did you love YTV? Fuck yeah, you did! Hey everybody, welcome to You, Me, and YTV today. I want to scratch something off my bucket list. I get to stand next to the mighty Katie Griffin. Oh, now, hi. now, I fell in love with Sailor Mars back in the day. There's just something about her, uh, the way she just gave Sailor Moon crap on a daily basis. I guess I'm a sadist, so I'm like, oh, that's <laughs> <laughs> um, Anyhow, um, I thought of a couple of lines that I would have said to you had I, had I met you when I was 12. Okay. Um, can I carry your books? And then I respond to you? Uh, yeah. Well, I can carry my own books. I'm really, really strong, but thank you anyway. Okay, um, would you like my pager number? Pager number, oh, nice. <laughs> I see what you did yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, um, well, I, I'm really just gonna have to go back to the temple and I'm, I have to clean, I have to clean, but, but thank you very much anyway. My sister's name is actually Serena, so I think there's another reason that something clicked in my brain. That yeah. Serena, you're such a, and I'm just like, oh, yeah. Yeah, Meatball give head. Meatball head. <gasps> Of course, that's the perfect name for her, Meatball Head. I think it kind of fits. <laughs> okay, so most people view your character as kind of antagonistic. I know, I know. And uh, kind of a B-I-T-C something, you know? And uh, how do you view Ray? And how do you view Ray's motivations of why she was so, oh, gosh darn mean? <laughs> I feel like she was just strong. <laughs> I, that's the word, I'm, I'm gonna go with that. Now, can we go on the rides? No, we should keep our suspect in sight. <laughs> You're the laziest person I've ever known. Feel this. He's so soft and cuddly. <laughs> Can't you ever be serious, Serena? Uh, Can't you lighten up? No, I feel like the, the relationship between Serena and Ray was, a sis they were sisters. And I, I believe, and this is maybe just because I played Ray, that they were the closest. They were all really close friends, but I believe that their bickering was because they had very different personalities. They still loved each other. They still looked out for each other, but, you know, she was really whiny, Serena. I feel like we would all react like that, right? Right, right, right. 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 <laughs> oh, of course not. What are you talking about, Ray? I'll bet you and your big mouth made her leave. <laughs> You're the OG Sailor Mars, correct? I am the OG Sailor Mars. Okay, I am. great. Because your fans are vicious, and if I ever dare get something like that wrong, Don't. they uh, they yes. just they just. The fires of love are burning. The fire of justice is burning. I will punish you on behalf of the planet Mars. Sailor Moon fans in general have yeah. so much love for this show. They do. Passion is what I like to say. Yes, there's a lot of passion for this show, and uh, we're very grateful for all the love we get. This is why we do what we do going around to these Comic Cons because we have the best fans in the universe. So thank no you. pun intended. Maybe in, the in universe. Maybe in the galaxy. In the galaxy, no. I'm just gonna keep stay with my puns all day long. Oh yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah. All right, so uh, basically I'm not the first, you know, jerk that probably says I fell in love with Sailor Mars and all that kind of stuff. Like did you realize that Sailor Mars was the hot one or like was that just a coincidence? Well, she is wearing red heels, so I guess it's just a coincidence. She has really nice hair as well, but I think, you know, she's fiery. She's fiery. There's another pun. That was not even... What is happening now? I feel like I'm the oh, pun I, master. I, I, got, I got one. Okay. After all these years meeting Katie in person, it's amazing that even to her planet's namesake, Sailor Mars is very hot. Hot. <laughs> Sweet, nice. Yeah, yeah, that was yeah. good. There, wow, yeah. this is fun. This could it be is. like a game show. Oh, it's it's gonna be. <laughs> they're gonna pull us apart off the stage with a cane. They will. Yeah, yeah. But we'll be amusing each other. Absolutely. There's all kinds of amusement happening. All right. So considering you're part of the original series, um, I've heard Toby before, even Linda. Like they don't give you guys scripts. You guys just walk in on. So you guys don't know what the hell is happening. We had no idea. Yeah. No idea. Honestly, we would go in there, and sometimes I would record three different shows and they would all just be together. So we had no idea the storyline until things like really <laughs> emotional things would happen, like dying, that kind of stuff. Whenever, that's when we started to realize what was happening with the show. So I always thought Chad, I always thought that Ray and Chad would get together, but no, 
not really. And you know, all of a sudden, Chad's gone for some Chad's reason. Yeah, yeah. No, he had enough. He had enough. He tried. He tried really, really hard, and then he had to go. Right. So there's an episode where Ray um, holds a talent show, and she sings in it. Yes. And uh, but you are a singer. I am. A singer. And you didn't get to record that song, correct? I did not. And I sound. I could have made that song happen. I sound just like the girl that did it. I agree. I That's why I thought. Until your panel yesterday, I thought it was you. I The day when love appears. Well, I walked into the studio and I knew that what, when I was watching it, I thought, oh, perfect, they're going to hand me a song. Stop it. <laughs> I see, I, I'm, I see you. Yeah, so I thought I was going to be singing, so I was very excited. I, I said, oh, great, so when do I get the song? <laughs> oh, no, it's already, it's already been recorded. So, yeah, unfortunately. Well, we were, we were starved and robbed of the chance to hear your <laughs> voice. Where can people hear your singing, Katie? Well, you know, um, I, don't, I don't even know. I haven't really done a lot of shows lately because I'm doing other shows. I'm doing a lot of animation right now at the yeah. moment. So I don't have a lot of time to sing. Let's talk about those shows. Okay, let's talk about those shows. So I am playing Sam Sparks in Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. They're doing a TV series. So that's not coming out till next year. But this fall, I'm also in another show called Atomic Puppet. You have to check that out. Um, Atomic Puppet, Mysticons is coming out. I'm in a little show called Wish and Poof, which is on. It's for little little guys. And I play mom. Oh, what else? Luna Petunia, Cirque du Soleil folks are doing a cartoon, so I play BB Bubbles. You're not, and this is all now? This is all right now. This oh is happening God. right now. And Inspector Gadget, CGI. I play Kayla. So let, yeah, so that's it. But that's all. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, that's all. <laughs> You're really a hard worker, aren't you, Ray? <laughs> you know, it wouldn't hurt you to give it a try one of these days, Serena. Then what's that supposed to mean? That you're a lazy donut snorting couch potato. I take back everything I said. Where can all the wide-eyed, blushy-faced people like me find you on the internet machine? I am on the intranet. Um, I'm just fine. Katie Griffin is. I'm on Facebook, but also Twitter. I'm Kiss Me Chaos. At, at Kiss Me Chaos, that was the name of my album, I did an album. So at Kiss Me Chaos, and I just joined Instagram. I have no pictures up yet, except for some chocolate, but I haven't, I don't think I posted it. But yes, that's at Kiss Me Chaos as well, I guess. I don't know, maybe it's not at when it's Instagram, I don't know. But it's Kiss Me Chaos. Google is a powerful thing. Find me. <laughs> <laughs> this is Ryan Stick. And I'm Katie Griffin. You stay classy, Fan Expo. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and tell all your friends that 90s Nostalgia is still alive on You, Me, and YTV. Go Canada!